okay first of all is the image of this okay this girl so what i'm going to do is i supplied the image in the assets panel okay you can do the same like we did with the icons you can just drag it bring it over here okay now i forgot to tell you to delete a layer okay like if i want to delete this ellipse and replace it with this girl just have to click on it okay and press backspace on my keyboard okay there's another way of doing it you can right click it okay and you can just delete it so it gets deleted okay now i'll just align it over here first thing done the second thing over here is to make this filter icon okay and you can see that there's a, a good color the color scheme is a purple pink and blue so we'll do that now okay so as i told you there's a trick for rectangles make it fast make them happen okay so copy this rectangle paste it we'll get another one change the fill color to white okay to distinguish it from the other rectangle just change the color to white all right now just make it smaller okay try to make it in the shape of a square okay i'm just going to study or uh, copy the width and height of this square it is 32 width and 32 height okay so i'll do the same over here 32 width and 32 is the height okay so i got it smaller next thing is the color of it okay and there's one more thing that we missed the border value like i told you to add curve to the borders okay we use this so i change this okay i'll got the thing that i want next step is to change the color right like you see this the pink fur then there comes a purple and comes to the blue okay so there's change in color while we go from right to left this is what we call a gradient all right so i just have to click on the square click on the fill okay you see that it is solid color solid color means that if we select any color the entire square will become of that color okay but what we want we want gradient okay we'll change it to linear gradient okay so there will come two lines over here okay you just have to align them properly like this and this to make it horizontal now you see that there's a color change from dark red to light red all right but what we want to do is a pink to blue shade all right so i click on this dark red one okay and then i'll go to this color picker all right now i'll select the pink color now it changed to pink same as for the other end i'll click for this red one okay go to the color picker and select blue all right so that's how it's done